madam. Ah, good morning. Please. Hold, your, hold your good morning there. Yeah. Please, what is good about the money? Ah. What is good about this money? Where did you send my son to? Uh uh. I just sent him to get me soap to wash my my plates. So it's his only soap he went to buy that he has spent how many hours buying? Oh, so sorry. He didn't get what I sent him initially. So you have so... to send him back. I'm sorry. Do you know how long I've been looking for this boy? Can't you go and get your soap by yourself? That is why you have to send him all over the place to so go and buy you soap. I'm sorry. Please, hold your sorry. That is you. That is how you just go around the whole place. Sending people's children. Buy me this, buy me that. Uh -uh, what is it? Can't you go and get your own children? What do I even have to say to you? What do I have to say to you? When you don't know how we go through pregnancy for good nine months. Is it about the labor pain? I'm sorry. Please, madam, next time you want anything, use your two left leg to go and look for that thing yourself. And please, let this be a reminder. Let this be the first and last time you ever send my son. Is that clear? Okay. Look at okay. that. Very oh. And you, the next time, the next time you send him, that time, Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why? Why God? Why me? This is too much. This is the one from my in-laws. And look at it again, my neighbor. God, where will you answer my prayer? Why will you have mercy on me? Even if it is just a child in the morning and have it back in the evening. God, I don't mind. I don't mind. in this place. It's according to our agreement. Which agreement? Which agreement do I have with you? Do light have anything to do with darkness? I am here in accordance to our agreement to take your son. He's a lie. You can't have my son. The Lord gave me my son. I prayed for my son and he's from the Lord. So who are you to claim that which the Lord has given to me? But before he gave it to you, you made an agreement that we should come and take him. Uh -huh. Why me? This is too much. This is the one from my in-laws. And look at it again, my neighbor. God, where will you answer my prayer? Where will you have mercy on me? Even if it is just a child in the morning and have it back in the evening. God, I don't mind. I don't mind. Eh? That was a time of ignorance. Unknown time. 
A time of pain and sorrow. <laughs> and you can't use that against me. You call it a time of ignorance. As it's written in your Bible. The time of ignorance as your God overlooked. Yes. But in our record here, the time of ignorance we have heard unto. For your information, may I tell you, I'm here for him. For it is written, the power of life and death lies in your tongue. So with your tongue, did you sell it? Really it for me? No, I can't. And I won't. No. Give it to me. No. Give it to no. me. No. Bring no. it. Landy. Sister Yemisi. That was a dream. And I was so scared. In fact, I've not gotten over the fear presently. You have nothing to be afraid of. For nothing will happen to your son. The Bible says, we shall not die, but live to proclaim the glory of the Lord. But there's something I must let you know. Hmm. At our trying moment, a lot of things ruminate in our hearts. But that which comes out of our tongue are powerful to determine the rest of our destiny. You know what? That which comes out of our tongue can either give us life or death according to the Bible. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21, says, For the power of life and death is in the tongue. So you don't because of what you are passing through today and create uncertain destiny for your future. Dear sister, tough time never lasts. Only tough people do. Thank you, Daddy. God bless you. It is well with you. Thank you, Daddy. It is well with you. Thank you Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. What are you doing here again? What are you doing here in my house? I'm here to accomplish my mission. You have no mission in my house. Yes, because the word of God says unto me, He said there is a name that has been given unto me, that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Listen to me, in the name of Jesus, I will book you. In the name of Jesus, you have no mission in my house. In the name of Jesus, but to send her. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. In the name of Jesus, there is nothing you can do in my house. I conquer. In the name of Jesus, you cannot use my words against me. The Lord has redeemed me and so shall it be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus.